Welcome to Maynardville Public Library Storytime with Miss Shantae. And this month is October and we're going to be doing Halloween stories. So today our story is going to be Creepy Carrots by Erin Reynolds. Are you ready? Let's go. Creepy Carrots Jasper Rabbit had a passion for carrots and the carrots that grew in Cracker Hopper Field were the best, fat, crispy, and free for the taking. Mm -mm. He pulled some for the morning snack on the way to school, and he yanked a, out a few on his way to Little League practice, and he ripped them from the ground on his way home at night. Jasper couldn't get enough carrots. Until they started following him. He first noticed something strange after the big game against East Valley Hares. Jasper was about to help himself to a victory snack when he heard it. The soft, sinister gothunk, gothunk, gothunk of the carrots creeping. He turned, but there was nothing there. Just my imagination, he thought, and he hopped a little faster. That night, as he brushed his teeth, there they were. Jasper whipped around but nothing. He laughed at himself and he picked his toothbrush up off the floor and went to bed quickly. The next morning he approached Cracker Hopper Field slowly. He reached for two wild carrots. Nothing happened. He bit into one. Nothing happened. Shoo! Creepy carrots. That's ridiculous. But then he arrived home that evening. Mom! Mom! Jasper screamed. Creepy carrots in the shed! His mom opened the door slowly. There was. There weren't any carrots, not even the regular kind. There are no such thing as creepy carrots, Mom said, shaking her head. Later that night, as Jasper laid in bed, he heard it breathing. Terrible, creepy, carrot breathing. And there on the wall, what did he say? Creepy carrots! Dad! Dad! His dad thumped into his bedroom and threw on the light. They searched under the bed. No creepy carrots. They looked through the closet. No creepy carrots. They opened the dresser drawer. No creepy carrots. Just a bad dream, son. And his dad said, shaking his head, now go to sleep. That wasn't going to be happening tonight. Oh. By the end of the week, Jasper was seen 
creepy carrots. Creeping everywhere. Jasper knew his parents were wrong. Creepy carrots were real. They were coming for him. But they couldn't get him if they couldn't get out. Jasper hatched a plan. First thing on Saturday, he grabbed supplies and headed to Cracker Hopper Field. He was going to build something around the carrots. He sawed and he dug and he added water and a wall. As the sun finally set across Cracker Hopper Field, Jasper smiled. On his way home, there was no kathunk, kathunk, kathunk. There was no carrot-shaped shadows. His plan had work. No creepy carrots would ever get out of that carrot patch again. And as the sun finally set, the carrots of Cracker Hopper Field cheered! Yay! Their creepy plan had worked. They were sure of it. Jasper the Rabbit would never get into the carrot patch ever again. Yay! The end. Well, I hope you enjoyed the story today of Creepy Carrots by Erin Reynolds. It's one of our favorites. Join us next time. Have a great day. Bye.